Hey guys, me 3000 gamer over here, and uh, welcome to Napoleon's Total War. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Napoleon's Total War is, it's a uh, part of the Total War saga, which is a series of games uh, that in which uh, you control your own army and fight against another army controlled by another player. In this case, uh, we're playing. Uh, I'm playing as England, and I'm going to against France, controlled by a guy named Little Joe. Um, the rules for this battle were no no, arti no artillery, and that's pretty much it about the battle. Uh, let's see what units do both armies have. We'll start with the French. Uh, he has a bunch of casseurs, I think that's how you pronounce them, I don't know, uh, that are light, light infantry, that can shoot uh, farther away from than light infantry, but uh, do worse in uh, melee and hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat with other units. And if you if you put it uh, close enough to one of the line imagery, uh, they get destroyed. Uh, he's got about three three over there and three over here, so he has six of those. He has uh, three of these Swiss foot. No, four, three. Yeah, three uh, Swiss foot units. Uh, one old guard, and he has. Uh, his general staff, along with uh, two chasseurs as well, I think that's how how you pronounce it. And all the way on the other side, we have my army, which is the, the British. Uh, I have Great Britain, well, the British, and uh, I have four of these light foot, which are my light infantry. I have four of these uh, foot infantry, one cold stream guard, and one. Second, 42nd foot, the Black Watch. Uh, those are my elite infantry. I have two Dragon War Guards as my melee cap. It's a heavy cap, and I have one General Staff as my general. Uh, I am going to form up over here, and uh, my enemy, which is friends, uh, well, he's uh, pulling his guys closer to the river, so. If my guys get too close over here, he can shoot them over the stream. And he's uh, running his guys uh, all the way from. I don't know, he's actually going uh, over to, to place my army over at this river cross over here. And by the time I realize that, uh, I have to switch uh, all of my guys from here all the way to over here. Uh, it's not uh, in a lot of time. Uh, I'm pretty much uh, walking my army over here because uh, I was thinking about taking over this city and uh, controlling this city uh, to help myself uh, win the battle. It's like kind of attacking over here, and then I was like, "Oh, he's uh, he's moving his guys up here." So I run all of my light foot and uh, light and uh, foot guard, like I mean uh, foot infantry, over to the crossing to slow him down slash uh, shoot him while he's crossing uh, but uh, he stops his uh, chassis over here at the river and starts running his uh, Swiss foot so infantry so I start uh, running my my light foot and my my foot infantry over over there so they can face him like front to front and uh, I think it's Little Joe the name. Yeah, I, it's something before that, but I can't remember very well. But anyway, let's get back into the battle. Uh, I start moving all of my guys uh, closer to stop him, but as you can see, he's already crossed the river. So my efforts are kind of vain because he's already on the other side. Uh, oh, by the way, this is a multiplayer battle. I'm uh, uh, an online battle against another player. Anyway. Uh, just to get that clear down. Um, this is, I think, my third battle, or fourth, uh, that I've played on uh, Napoleon's World War. Um, so he launches his path to attack my my light foot. Uh, at the beginning I was like, oh, my, oh, I, I think I've just lost uh, all of my plank. Oh, but then, when these guys came in position, I was like, oh yeah, they're going to retreat now, and I'm going to lose his death, and I'm barely even going to lose uh, one of his uh, light foot. Most, you know, so I was kind of happy about uh, 
him running his cat a little bit uh, desperately. I think he he lost uh, control, like he wasn't paying attention, so he just ran them through. And over here, he also wasn't paying attention, and one of his uh, and, and his old guard, which is uh, his, his ability control he has, is fighting uh, melee against him and like it. I realized that and I tried to pull him, pull him back in order to, to like blow. But then uh, he charges through, so I decided to leave these guys engaged, but it's too late. Uh, they're in melee against those guys. And I see that he's not doing anything over there, so uh, let's just focus over here. Um, so he leaves these guys uh, columns, which is a uh, very big mistake. Uh, you never want to leave them like this. You're just going to get slaughtered. Uh, he decides to like desperately charge into my my foot into my light fight, and my light foot uh, starts running. But I send in my, my cab. I actually was sending my cab all the way over here because I saw that he was crossing with his. Uh, Cossiers, so I run my I wanted to run my cab all the way up there, which uh but unfortunately they got stuck here. Although I do manage to pull through uh, one of my dragoon guard units. Uh, anyway they're not going to uh, they're going to fight in a while. Let's just uh, keep our, men are running. our eyes over here. That's uh, most of the action. One other of my the foot the light foot that uh, was attacked by the horses uh, starts routing, but I have extra men over here to kind of close the gap and uh, shoot him through multiple sides and I send my general over here to inspire these guys to keep fighting because uh, they were kind of wavering and uh, I didn't want them to hit. I he's had, he has all his Swiss guard and uh, he has old guard also uh, fighting over here he's only got uh, one Swiss guard left somewhere. Okay, he's his uh, I mean, sorry, Swiss, Swiss foot. Uh, but he has them all the way back here, not engaged. Uh, which I think, I think the smart thing for him to do here was pull back over here and make me cross or make a, a battle from both sides of the, the river. And anyway, I charge my, my cab over here. And uh, they're engaged in melee with the uh, chasers, which is a situation that they should win. But he has a. Uh, this is what uh, he pulled these guys back and shot at my horses. Uh, I mean, some of these guys are playing for fun and fire, but I think that it, uh, it's kind of worth it to do that. But then I forget about these guys. And, uh, they they get out of the fight, but I managed to route. Uh, little suicide charge over here and my my dragoon guard uh, is free to attack these cassiers over here and by this point I'm reforming my lines uh, I have some very depleted units but I use uh, I use my guard and so that was the reserves of, uh, initially but now I'm pushing them to the front along with my foot infantry and some Light foot to to do battle to, to this Swiss foot and chasseurs, but as you can see, uh, his chasseurs are kind of formed in a line. I'm I'm not sure if these guys are light infantry or not. Uh, I think they may be just uh, regular infantry, like foot infantry, but I'm not that sure uh, because usually the light infantry you can just spread them out like this. Uh, by this point, uh, I had three intact units and uh, a few depleted units, but I was only using the depleted units to fight over there. And over here, my cat uh, kind of failed on killing uh, these units, and uh, they flee. And one of and his unit of uh, chasseurs that was actually kind of destroyed came back, and. Uh, there, he's moving those guys to flank me, and I see that, but I decide to concentrate over on this side to eliminate his, uh, his remaining units. And at this point, I make something uh, a little bit stupid uh, that I. Uh, well, I reinforce with the 42nd foot, the Black Watch over here, the, from the unit that uh, routed, 
and uh, I'm going to send in all of these units, all of these uh, four units against General, and I'm going to put him like about over here, and he's going to be able to kill uh, kill my Lightfoot with his General. But I still have uh, Lightfoot and uh, two two regular line infantry uh, ready to fight uh, off these units over here. But I decide to move forward my Lightfoot over here to kill his general. I'm not sure why I did that, but I can't change that now. Anyway, uh, he's trying to make uh, his guys come back by sending their his general near them. But that's not going to work. Uh, they're too depleted to come back, and uh, their morale is too low to, to even consider coming back to, to fighting. And my guys are crossing uh, this little river right now, getting ready to engage the general. Meanwhile, over here, I I kind of uh, lost a little bit of track of where these guys were, and I kind of uh, have to run these two units to fight this. And he's doing some flanking shots over here, a uh, really good idea, but didn't do that much damage. No, they were already across the bridge. Anyway, uh, so I form up my foot infantry uh, to go against his chassures, which is a favorable situation to me. Uh, even though it says uh, these guys are winning slightly, my guys are winning slightly too, and these guys are losing. Okay, okay, so these guys are losing against these guys and these guys. Well, these guys are completely Our men are these running, guys. sir! And I was kind of uh, concentrating over here because he attacked my guys with his general. And I lost track that this guy was, uh, you know, all ready to fight uh, these two units. So I just leave them there. I finally moved them now. Kind of a uh, flanking shot over these guys and these guys. And I get my general over here to inspire these guys to keep fighting because they were they were wavering and losing morale. As you can see, they're already on the reds. Uh, this little bar over here is morale, in case you didn't know. If your units have low morale, they're going to flee off the the field. And over here, I charge uh, this general with all of my infantry. Our men are and running. He tries to retrieve him across the little water thing. And I decided to charge in my general to stop him from uh, escaping. Let's see this little uh, engagement between generals. Uh, I think this general dies. Uh, this is a general that has a good defense and the mass, and there he goes with that. Uh, my general wins the engagement. I'm not sure who my general is, but. And then I start shooting the general unit. No one uh, I only have 9 out of uh, 18 of my general's god surviving. And over here, uh, my guys are getting flanked by his uh, chassures. It's not a very good situation for me, but it's uh, still a very healthy unit with 82 out of uh, 120. Man, I route these guys I, and I uh, reposition these guys to shoot these guys in order. Uh, for them not to get flank shot and uh, I start moving uh, my infantry back this way and I'm not sure what my general is doing but uh, I start uh, repositioning my my men over on this way and by this point uh, of the battle it's already won uh, he, he only has this uh, the series left meanwhile I have uh, a foot infantry fighting him and a bunch of reserves over here so uh, this is just the, the last engagement. And oh, my eyes. If his units break, my units celebrate because we won the engagement. And okay, anyway, uh, I deployed 1,188 guys, 1188. I think that's how you say it in English. It's kind of weird language. Anyway, I lost uh, almost. No, I think I lost about half my men, but I killed. 857 of these. He, uh, okay, this is his name, SBN Little Joe. Uh, he kill, he deployed uh, 12,048 men, and he lost 907 men, and he killed 483 men. So he pretty much, 
pretty much 100 of my guys uh, probably killed themselves because they were fighting for me, I don't know. And uh, almost 100 of his guys also killed themselves. Yeah, which is uh, reassuring in a way. Anyway, let's go into unit statistics. Uh, these guys, nothing. That's for the second foot. Uh, my my uh, elite units uh, lost zero guys, killed zero guys. Uh, these guys uh, lost 25 but killed 83. My Rag Dragoon Guard uh, killed 67 and lost 38. Uh, these guys lost 35 and killed 36. Uh, I think these guys did way better than these guys. Uh, they actually ascended on uh, rank. Now my regular foot infantry. Uh, they deployed all the same amount of guys because it's the same unit. Um, these guys are the ones that lost the most men but killed the most also. Uh, these two are the, the ones that did better. Even though this one was the only one who ascended. Uh, this guy, my general, deployed 18, lost 9 of them, and killed 8 men. Which, uh, it's kind of sad, because they lost more than they killed. Although I think some of the dead guys were friendly fire. Uh, my lightfoot uh, killed pretty much no one. Uh, but this lightfoot actually did quite well. Like, compared to the rest of them. And, anyway... Uh, this was uh, today's battle, I uh, hope you enjoyed, uh, please uh, leave a like if you like, <laughs> if you like the video, uh, if you li would like to see more of this game, please, uh, please comment down below, and uh, please share the video, really helps me out a lot, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, and uh, please tell me if you enjoyed uh, this kind of, uh, of of a uh, way of recording this game or if you would like to see like a uh, live uh, like me commentating at the same time that I'm playing the game and um, anyway it's your favorite youtuber over here and uh, see you on the next episode of whatever you know it's just not not so common to do the same thing twice but uh, ne next uh, next what is it called? Uh, week. Uh, clay soldiers will return.